It's almost time. Everyone ready? All right. Then let's get this show started. Oh, I can't wait, Mr. Hazo. Let's get going, Hazo. Emperor Oni Kabuto, hang in there, Your Highness. I'm coming for you. It takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Welcome to the first Hazo Talks Fraud. I am your eponymous host, Hazo. Okay, I'm delighted to have you all here today to explore the topic of fraud. To help everyone avoid becoming the victim of scam artists themselves, we thought we'd invite several VIPs with a lot of experience in this area to perform a little play with an anti-fraud message. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Miss Atsu, Mr. Iba, and the venerable gentleman, Mr. Arataki Ito. Without further ado, let the show begin. <clears throat> it was just another bright sunny day when a distressed Miss Etsu brought her elderly grandpa, Iba, into the police station to report a crime. There, they were greeted by a kindly Doshin, surname Arataki. Doshin Arataki, please help us! My poor grandpa has been defrauded! Doshin Arataki? I, uh, <laughs> you're talking to me. <clears throat> Perhaps for want of familiarity with the script, a confused look creeps over Doshin Arataki's face, and he asks himself that age-old question. Who am I? Yes, you are Doshin Arataki! <laughs> You're Doshin Arataki! Oh, so I'm this I'm in the play. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm I'm a Doshin, of course. Okay, <clears throat> I got this. Ma'am, can you tell who it was that defrauded your grandfather? Rest assured, the Tenryo Commission and I are here to bring them to justice. I don't know. It was too late when I found out. They took all of my grandpa's money, and all they left was this note. Doshin Arataki frowns as he realizes this is more complicated than he thought. He takes the note in his hand and reads it out loud. I am the Raiden Shogun. I am currently being held hostage by the Crux fleet and urgently need 200,000 mora to secure my release. Please place the ransom mora on the north coast of the deserted island. When all of this is over, I will promote you to General of the Tenryo Commission. It's the Almighty Shogun! <clears throat> we cannot let Her Excellency come to harm. Uh, but this is a scam, surely. I mean, 200,000 mora? Kind of lowballing it for the Electro Archon, don't you think? Shouldn't it be like, uh, 300 thou at the very least? Well, I sure thought so, but Grandpa's already parted with the money. Well, then we gotta get it back. Is, is there still time? Before I could go out to look for it, Grandpa received another note! Doshin Arataki takes the note and reads it out loud. I am Miss Hina. I am currently raising funds to publish a photo book. I urgently need 300,000 mora for publishing fees. In return for your support, you will receive a limited edition signed photograph. It's Miss Hina. <clears throat> We can't leave poor Miss Hina in a tight spot. You're right, Gramps. Is 300,000 mora enough? I, I can spare some, too, if we need to make up the difference. Maybe I can get a photo of Miss Hina, too. I, I mean, uh, we gotta help Miss Hina out here. It's a scam, Doshin Arataki! Snap out of it! Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, because... If Miss Hina needed funds, she'd come to me first, you know, uh, as her number one fan. Why would she go asking this old geezer for help? <laughs> These con artists don't know who they're up against. <laughs> well, anyway, not long after Grandpa handed over the money, he received yet another note. Doshin Arataki grabs the note and reads it aloud. I am Arataki Ito. I was recently framed for a crime I totally did not commit, 
and now I'm stuck here in prison. I am in urgent need of 500,000 mora as bail. In return for your help getting me out, I will bring the whole gang over to thank you personally at your house. Must be a scammer, surely. <clears throat> I've never heard of this person, and they're asking me for 500,000 mora. Wait a minute. This is a scam. I'm Arataki Ito. Uh, you are? But your name tag says... Doshin Arataki follows Miss Etsu's gaze to the name tag emblazoned on his chest, which reads, Arataki Shmito. What kind of whack job script is this? Am I me or ain't I? So, the bail money? Pure example of what I said earlier. Yenito is an airhead. He's an airhead. But this is a funny, cute, little play. Nope, no way, not a chance. Arataki Ito would never ask innocent people for Mora in order to post bail. Whoever wrote this is a liar and a cheat. And we gotta get out there and get this guy off our streets. But just as Doshin Arataki is being overcome with righteous indignation, the sound of Miss Etsu's weeping brings his attention back to her. <laughs> Miss Etsu, don't you worry. We're gonna catch the people who did this. Even if you do catch them, how are we ever going to get Grandpa's money back? Oh, whatever are we going to do about all those Onikabuto? Onikabuto? Wait, uh, what, what was that about the... Uh, Onikabuto? Oh, well, Grandpa is a major Onikabuto breeder in our village. His are the biggest and strongest Onikabuto around. People come from far and wide to buy from him. We recently received an order that was too big for our current capacity. We were planning to expand Grandpa's facilities, but then we were swindled out of all of our money. <laughs> Right after we'd signed the contract, too! If we don't deliver these Onikabuto on time, Grandpa will have to pay huge damages! Oh, what are we going to do? Man, what's that saying? It's like, um, uh, it never rains, but it snowballs. <sighs> exactly what we're dealing with. Etsu, my dear, don't worry. I'll sell the house if I have to. We'll find a way through. Then where will we stay? <laughs> Please help us, Doshin Arataki. All we need is the 500,000 mora that was taken from us. Can you help us raise it? Or, or maybe you could lend it to us? Grandpa's business is going very well. We just need help getting over this hurdle. Doshi Narutaki, please. If you lend us the money, I'm sure I can make it up to you by... I won't hear of it. As a public servant, I would never dream of taking advantage of a person in need. I was going to say, by giving you part ownership of the Onikabuto farm. Oh, so that's what you were... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not as enticing an offer as I was... Uh, wait, well, uh, an Onikabuto farm, how many Onikabuto did you say you have? Because if it's more than, say, ten... Ten thousand! What? Ten thousand? Well, that, that's more Onikabuto than I've seen in my whole life! Please help us. As long as we get through this, those ten thousand Onikabuto are yours to keep. 10,000 Onikabuto. Hey, if, if if I looked after them, they'd have little baby Onikabuto. And then the, the little baby Onikabuto would grow up and have little baby Onikabuto of their own. Doshin Arataki is struck by a sudden wave of pure elation. His face breaks into a big, beaming smile. But what does he do next? Miss Etsu, don't you worry. I'm gonna help you out. But 10,000 is too many. I can only accept 1,000. 
Wait, uh, no, what am I saying? 500 Onikabuto! I'm starting to drift off, and I feel like they're going in circles at this point. Are they still... acting? This still part of the script? I'm lost. As a Doshin of the Tenryo Commission, it is my duty to serve. How could I abuse my position to take advantage of you? That's great news, Master Arataki! What a wonderful person you are! So strong and handsome and committed to doing the right thing. It's rare to find these days. <laughs> yep, that's me! Alright, there's just one final question that needs answering. What question is that? The question is... Where's my Mora? Huh. Yo, Hazo, my ombre, uh, question for you. What's my character's salary in the script? Oh, also, any inheritance or other lump sums I should know about? <laughs> Basically, can I afford this 500,000 Mora? I mean, Shmito, can sh I can afford it. <laughs> can Shmito. Ahem. Faced with a damsel in distress, Doshin Arataki fights to remain level-headed and asks that other age-old question. Where's my Mora? Suddenly, he feels a strange compulsion to slide his hand into his pocket where, it turns out, a bank check has been quietly nestled all along. He draws the check out and inspects it. Today is payday, and this is his salary. The amount? 500,000 Mora. Whoa, check it out! A check for 500,000 Mora! <laughs> Where'd you come from, buddy? Misatsu, get this. Turns out I just got paid 500,000 Mora today. Well, here's your Mora. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Master Arataki, what's wrong? Doshin Arataki stretches out his hand. But wait, just as he is about to hand over the check to Miss Etsu, he hesitates, tightly pinching one end of the check betwixt his two fingers. All he needs to do now is release the check, and it will fall into Miss Etsu's eager hands. But let go of the check he does not. Master Arataki, let go! Wait, wait. Something's not right. Doshin Arataki is having second thoughts. Has something caught his attention? Has it aroused his suspicion? Has he finally realized the truth? So, uh, this is an anti-fraud show, right? Huh? <clears throat> A spark of intuition bursts to life in Doshin Arataki's mind. This gotta be the most confusing, most random play I've ever seen since Into the Woods. And I was the sound operator for Into the Woods. Because Edito is going off script. they trying their best to save it. It's, it's like watching Lexi's play from Euphoria. Like, it's a whole bunch of going on to the point where it's just comedy at this point. Like, it's so ransom. You're just laughing at whatever happens next. Since this is an anti-fraud event, I have a question. Is he about to ask the most critical question of all? I gotta ask. This is it. Here it comes. Huh? Does a Doshin really get paid this much? 500,000 Mora. Enough to get an Electro Archon out from a hostage situation, then go pay for Miss Hina's publishing costs. You telling me the average Doshin can do all that on one pay packet? I don't know, seems pretty fishy to me. Hey, compadre, what do you think? Am I being scammed here? Hazel, Ido's cheating! He asked for help! <sighs> As the spark of intuition flickers and threatens to fade, Doshin Arataki clutches around in desperation, hoping to find a source of fuel to feed the flames of enlightenment. Traveler, are you going to help this poor man out of his predicament? 
Hold on, when did I become part of the play? See, I'm I'm so confused at this point. Are we still doing the play? And are are the people still here? Cause I would have been a left. Yeah, y'all gonna have to wrap this up because I'm confused. Cause Edito's like I say, Edito's going off script. Hey, Zoo is trying to save it. It's, it's oh, this this is combobulating. I don't know at this point. I don't. Even, I didn't even know I was in this play. Follow my heart. All right then. There's no way a doshi makes five hundred thousand mora in a single pay packet. Two innocent victims, Miss Etsu and Mr. Iba, come to a Doshin for help. And the Doshin, what, whips out a 500,000 Mora check? Yeah, likely story. There's only one possible explanation. Who's got two horns and carries around a fake checkbook? Yep, this guy. With this fake check for 500,000 mora, I almost swindled Etsu and Iba out of 10,000 Onikabuto, the last thing these poor folks needed after the recent string of catastrophes they faced. Why did he say it like it was a flex? My mind is blown. Craziest plot twist I ever heard. The criminal was the main character all along. Misetsu, I'm afraid I can't let myself give you this fake check. But I will do everything in my power to raise 500,000 genuine Mora for you. So don't you worry. What the? <clears throat> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's everybody's reaction watching this right now. What is this, bruh? In the end, Doshin Arataki listened to the voice of his heart and narrowly avoided being defrauded in his own unconventional way. But regrettably, he failed to ask the critical question. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free? I ask you all, is there such a thing as free Oni Kabuto? Free Mora? Or does nothing in life come for free? Thank you all for watching Hazo Talks Fraud. Don't get greedy and you won't be needy. Stay alert and you won't get hurt. You never know where scammers may lurk. See you all next time. This has been the most ghettoest thing I have ever seen. They are a mood.